Hey there, so uh, I thought I would do a little rundown of Pray For Sound's control rack. Uh, this thing basically controls the click in our in-ears. It sends backing tracks to front of house, controls our light show, and it sends MIDI data to all our pedal boards so that we can, you know, the, the computer automatically changes pedals and uh, turns them on and off and uh, controls the tempo on our delay pedals and whatnot. Um, so I thought I would just go through what we're running here and, uh, you know, show how it works a little bit. So uh, on top, we've got the MacBook Pro. Uh, this is like a 2016 MacBook Pro, so nothing new. Um, I think it's, it's got like eight gigs of memory, so n nothing crazy. Uh, and it's running Ableton live. Um, I won't spend a lot of time on this at the moment. I'll save that for the end, but, uh, this is basically the brain and this connects to the rack down here with, uh, just this one USB-C cable. Um, that is going to a hub, a USB hub that you... I don't think you can see. So back here, there's covers, but back right there uh, is a USB-C hub, and there are three USB devices connected to that. So we've got the Motu Audio Express. So this is a, an audio interface, and we're using four outputs from this. So the first one is going to this wireless transmitter. So the first output from the audio interface is uh, our click. So that gets sent to the Shure PSM 300 transmitter and that goes to our uh, in-ear monitor packs. Um, so we get click in our in-ears. Um, the next output from this interface is also the click and that goes down to this Behringer headphone amp uh power play pro 8 so that's got eight uh eight headphone outs so we can basically if there's too much interference from the wireless we can hardwire our in-ears um so back to the audio interface the third output is uh backing tracks that goes directly to this xlr jack which we send to front of house for some like synth layers in the background and whatnot. Um, obviously that's lined up with the click. And then the fourth output from this is also going to the uh, headphone amp, but to the other input. And that's also the front of house backing tracks. So that basically with the push of the bu this button, we can switch this output right here from the click to front of house backing tracks. So uh, basically we've got some redundancy, some options if something goes wrong. Um, next up from the audio interface, we've got the Mo2 Micro Lite. This is a MIDI interface and we use four of the outputs from this um, wired to this custom I.O. panel right here. Uh, just one for every every one of us down here um, so that we can wire our pedal boards. I've got mine plugged in right now. So this MIDI line just runs over here to my pedal board and uh, changes songs and whatnot as, uh, as the Ableton goes through our set list. I uh, already talked about the wireless transmitter. That's for the click. This is just a blank panel kind of touched on this this is a custom uh, io panel so this is most mostly what we connect to so on that we've got our power um, this is just a power con jack um, giving power to the audio interface the wireless transmitter the headphone amp and the macbook um, and we've got the front of house backing tracks uh, i talked about that already the lights. So um, this is connected to a light interface that's in the back. It's sitting on a shelf in the back. It's just like this little blue box by Entec called DMXs. Um, it basically lets you use MIDI data to send DMX data 
um, to your lights. And then the uh, lastly, we've got the the MIDI outs. So, uh, and then the headphone amp. So we've touched on everything. Uh, that's the hardware setup um, in Ableton. So we've got a diff over here. You can see my mouse. Um, a different scene for every song. And each one of these scenes uh, plays all these tracks to the left that correspond with it. So um, let's see, if we go down to waves, for example, um, starting from over here. So this first track is uh, a recording bounce of the actual song. So this is always muted. You can see it's muted down here. Um, it's always muted, but it's there so that we can program Ableton without having to play the song. Um, so uh, that's just a kind of a helper track. The next one is the song name. So um, I recorded my son Finn saying the song name and so that we get an announcement in our in-ears what song we're about to play. Uh, then we have the click. So again, this also goes to our in-ears. Then we've got backing tracks. So these are our main backing tracks in this this uh, this track. Um, so in, in you know in Waves case we have a, a synth that plays uh, kind of throughout the song. Um, the next one is uh, we don't have a track for this in Waves, but um, this is the our Yamaha CP backing tracks. So usually our drummer Steve plays these when we play live. But in the event that we do like a fly date or something like that, where we don't bring this Yamaha CP, we have them um, kind of lined up and, and ready to go to be sent to front of house, um, you know, if, if Steve can't play along. So basically these are usually muted, but we unmute to, uh, to uh, have those get sent to front of house automatically. Uh, next up, we have the four, I guess, five uh, MIDI outs to our pedal boards. So there's one for each of us. I actually have two because I have a, a Strymon Volante that also is MIDI control. And I do some stuff with that. Um, and then um, this transition track. So we use, um, I think it's a built-in MIDI device, IAC driver. Uh, you can see it down here. Um, we use that to, this This is basically like uh, send MIDI data back into Ableton. So this lets us do tempo changes, um, tempo changes and transitions to the, to the next song automatically without having to touch the Ableton session. Uh, and then finally, these last two tracks here are both MIDI tracks. One is for the MIDI light bank. So we have a different bank of lights uh, for every song. So over here, we have a, a list of a bunch of our songs. And so there's a different bank for each one. So if we go to, uh, let's see, where's Waves? Waves new, I guess. Uh, it has all these presets, and that brings us to the last uh, track here is a, a, another MIDI track for our lights uh, that controls which MIDI preset, uh, I'm sorry, which light preset we're going to throughout the song. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, pretty simple. Um, we've got some redundancy for, you know, oh shit moments. Um, we also, you know, have pedals at our feet. So if all hell breaks loose and the computer dies or this whole thing doesn't work, uh, we can still play the set. Um, but this is nice and compact. Uh, we're planning on uh, being on a, on a plane and doing some, some shows away from home soon. So we needed this to be nice and small and solid. Um, and uh, able to be thrown on a plane, basically. So hopefully TSA takes care of this. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.